Ahoy hoy folks, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Sean, aka Uncle Frogface, and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're not new, then welcome back. Sorry, my face is a little bit red. I've literally just had a, a haircut and a shower, uh, and, and my face is still a little bit red after a shower. Um, but today it is Scrawler Box. So, in this mammoth month of content, uh, we actually have this month's Scrawler Box. So, we're going to unbox it today, have a look what's inside, do a little bit of swatching, and then probably the beginning of November, by the time I've got everything else done, we'll use these supplies to create something weird. So with Scrawlbox I always do one unboxing video, one creation video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We've got Tinkerbell in the office today as well, who's sitting next to me judging everything that I do. Got cat hair in my mouth now. Blech. Um So yeah, we're gonna turn around, crack this bad boy open and see what we've got this month. Okay, so this is October's Scrawler Box. Uh, I've already taken my address off the back. Uh, so, for those of you that don't know, Scrawler Box is a monthly art subscription box. Has a bunch of supplies inside that equal more than the total of you're paying for the box, which I think in the UK is now £16.50 a month. Um, I'm just going to say, as I always do, I'm not sponsored, I am not affiliated, I just enjoy these boxes. Uh, if you would like to get a discount on your first scroller box, then there is a link down below where you can get a few pounds off your first box. Uh, very much worth it, even if you just want to give it a try uh, and you know, you're know you not locked in at all, you can cancel at any time. So, with that being said, I am going to open this up. There we go. Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay, so we've got a little pack of supplies. I'm gonna pop over here. I can already see the sticker through here. Sorry, school box for last month. Um, if for those of you who didn't see, I uh, was convinced I there was no sticker in there. It turns out it got stuck to the tissue paper that I'd thrown in the bin, uh, and, and I had dozens of comments from people saying it's in there, both on Instagram and. Uh, on YouTube. So uh, we've got our scroller zine, which I'm just going to pop aside. Got a very nice uh, piece of artwork. So this is from Andrea Alexandra Olivia, visual artist known for her colorful and intricate illustrations. Um, very nice. There's, there's the uh, Instagram if you want to go and follow it there. We'll pop that to the side. And we have marker paper. Okay, that might be a bit of a clue of what we've got in this month's uh, box. Let's pop this over to the side. Now I actually quite like markers. I've got a whole back pack of um, what are they? A hoo hoo markers. I like these hoo hoo markers. Uh, we do have markers, right? I'm going to pop this menu over to one side with our sticker. Our challenge is out of the lamp. Okay. Uh, oh, we have rhubarb and custard. I know exactly what this is. This is our sweet for the month. I would definitely be having this. Sorry, Andrew, you only get the yucky ones. Uh, we have a kneadable eraser, so I know the Faber-Castell kneadable erasers very well because in my little Superman tin over here, I have a kneadable eraser that gets stuck. I've had for ages, which is a Faber-Castell, and it works very well. I think there are bits of other reasoning there as well, but I, I know this very well, and I like it. We have a, another Faber-Castell. This is the Grip Pencil in 2B, uh, my favourite hardness. We have Hello Tinkerbell. I think both trying to get in the shot. We may have a cat uh, encroaching. Um, we have the Unipin Fine Liner, which I think we've had Unipin Fine Liners before. We have. This is in a scroll box. This is the 1.0. This is the 0 0.3. Uh, I actually used 1.0 in my latest ink taper video. Very, very nice pen. And the markers that we have. Oh, we actually have Copics. So uh, I have never used Copics before. Ever. Uh, but this, these are the Copic Sketch and they have a chisel tip and they have a brush tip. I'm really looking forward to using these. Cannot tell you. Um, okay, out of the lamp and the colours that we've got, we've got uh, BG15 Aqua, we have Y02 Canary Yellow and we have uh, R46 Strong Red. So our primaries, 
like kind of traditional primaries, should be able to mix some good colours with this. We're going to have a little bit of a test of that. Uh, so I'm just going to pop these to the side for a moment, sort myself out, open this marker paper, scrunch, scrunch, open the marker paper, and we can have a little bit of a swatch and see what's going on. Okay, so having a quick little flick through our scrollers in, we've got the contents, we've got the sticker, which actually, I'll just show you that again, very, very nice sticker. Uh, my collection is growing, oh, there we go. Pull me up. Uh, my collection is growing of those. Um, we have a little bit of a sit down with the artist. There we are. We have scroller tips for the Copics. We also have scroller galleries. This is from August Scroll Box where we had the Molotow uh, paint pens, which are very nice. And then we have a little bit uh, scroller extra about movie magic and animation, which is actually something I'm very interested in learning about. Um, we'll be doing some short courses on that in my own time, I'm sure. But I'm going to pop these to the side. I've taken the, uh, the cellophane off the marker paper. There's 10 sheets and this paper is very smooth. It's so smooth. Marker paper always is. I actually bought a pack of marker paper a while ago for my... Um, why can I never remember their names? My Ahuhu markers. And it turned out it was marker blending paper, which wasn't quite what I thought it was going to be and really didn't like how it worked. Um, but let's unwrap this needable eraser and give it a bit of a squish. Yeah, that's what I like. Squishy, squishy. It should feel a little bit like plasticine. And when you need them, they get more and more kind of tacky, a bit blue tacky. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pop that just in here for a minute. Oh, we use our pencil. So uh, it was lamp, wasn't it? So I'm not going to, I'm going to draw a lamp. Um, what I am going to do is just draw a little light bulb, I think. Old fashioned light bulb, show my age here. Lovely, very nice little sketching um, pencil. As I say, 2B is my favourite graded pencil, don't know why, just what I prefer. Yeah, really nice. The grip actually feels really nice. The It's triangular. So it's, it's really good for a tripod grip, which I think if you're writing is a very good grip. If you're doing fine line work is a very good grip. Actually holding a pencil like this for more expressive lines, the grip goes right down towards the end. So you've got a huge area to be able to work with when you're kind of drawing from the elbow. Really nice. Okay. We have our fine liner. Um, and let's see if I can I don't know why that, that seems a little bit thicker than I was expecting. Maybe I've just been using a lot of fine liners recently. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. You can see I, I kind of I tend to get sweaty hands. So this, this paper is already buckling under the sweat of my hands, which... Not good. Um, okay, I'm going to try these Copics now. We'll start with chisel tips on yellow. Oh, that goes, goes down beautifully and it layers up really nicely. Um, I'm going to do chisel tips first. I'll do brush tips afterwards. Chisel tip for the red. Ooh, that is... <laughs> Uh, I mean, these already put my my other ones to shame. Um, there's a reason Copics command such a high price, uh, I guess. I mean, I'm not hugely experienced with markers, but I've used them a fair amount, but generally just the cheap ones. Um, okay, so chisel tip works really nicely. Let's do the brush tip. So I've heard that these are quite soft. Oh, they are. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to be one of those people that's now spending all of my money on Copic markers. But I can certainly see why people do do that. These are it's actually gorgeous. Oh dear. Scrawler box, what are you doing to me? Um, you go from very thick to very fine. Wow, okay. Um, well, first of all, I'm gonna, gonna try the neat bull eraser and just, neat bull eraser is really good for just rolling over the top, picking up graphite, and then you can do a little bit of a rub. Very nice. Rub away what's underneath there. The pen, really, really good. I'm gonna squish that there. Um, so the the Unipin fine liner is what it is, what, what I expected it to be, same for the pencil, but I really like the grip. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this for kind of more gestural sketching. Always love a needle eraser, and this is a very good one. The Copic markers, um, I, I'm gonna do a little bit of layering now and see how they work on top of each other. So I'm gonna do it was like a, a Venn diagram, just gonna cross them over. You can really build up the saturation as well. Making sure I get them to clicking because I really don't want these to dry out. Okay. Okay. See the, the orange in the middle, definitely. Uh, and now we're going to do the, the blues over the green. Over the yellow, sorry, to make green. <laughs> hmm, okay. I mean, they, they definitely blend together. Uh, and actually, I think if we, we kind of did some blue and did some yellow, we could probably get a really nice blend. Like I say, I'm by no means uh, an expert on markers in general, let alone Copics. Back and forth, back and forth. Um, that's actually a really nice green. Ooh, okay. Um, let's see if I can get some of that green off. There we go. Clean up tip. So I'm... I'm I've got an idea, I think, for the prompt. The fact that we've got animation in the back of the scroller scene, and we've got the uh, the prompt out of the lamp. We've also got some very kind of primary colours. Um, I think I might be going a cartoony animation route, but I'm going to give myself some time to think about that. Um, huh. Well, Squirrel Box, you've done it again. Um, I know some people were kind of a, a little bit apprehensive about the, the last box with the charcoals, um, but I really enjoyed it. And actually, I've really enjoyed a lot of the boxes recently. Uh, there haven't been very many that uh, I've kind of not got on with. But this one, um, th these are, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I would say this is an exceptional box. I'm really looking forward to working with this. Um, one thing I would say, again, uh, is that th this has not been made with the supplies that are in the box. Um, but yeah, we've talked about this before. Um, but I'm I'm super happy. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this box. What you are going to do with yours if you are subscribed to Scroller Box, um, or if not, what you'd like to see in a Scroller Box. Um, that would be a good question. Yeah, but as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, goodbye.